Uh, practice problem uh, number two. Write the nuclear symbol for carbon 13. Nuclear symbol. Okay. Right now, we've been given hyphen notation twice. All right. Up here, number one. That's hyphen notation. And now here, number two. All right. Hyphen notation. That's not the only kind of notation that we have. Uh, hyphen notation, by the way, is much more useful when you're speaking. Okay, if you're talking like actual language, not just writing, when you're writing nuclear, the nuclear symbol is actually easier. But when you talk, saying the hyphen notation is way easier. It's way better. It's a way better option. Okay, so that's why we have both options in case we're writing versus speaking. Okay, but here, let me ask for the nuclear symbol. Now, Eventually, you guys will get so used to working with the periodic table and some kind of like more common elements that you'll actually get used to knowing that carbon is represented by capital C. Right now, you don't know that more than likely. So what do you do? Search the periodic table. Look for carbon. Now again, it might take you a while, but it's on the right side of the periodic table, kind of towards the top, and it's represented by a capital C. Now, the other bit of information that you need to know here is that when writing a nuclear symbol to the left of the symbol, I'm going to have a number that is superscript and a number that is subscript. The number that is superscript is going to be the mass number, which the hyphen notation tells me is 13. The subscript number is the atomic number, which again, we just found carbon on the periodic table. We can see that it's number six. Now, as you get more and more advanced, it actually becomes somewhat common to actually not write the atomic number. It actually becomes somewhat common to only write this for your nuclear symbol. But you might ask, well, why would you not write the six? How can I possibly know what the atomic number of carbon is if you don't write it down? Well, we're already telling you that it's carbon. A quick glance at the periodic table will tell you that it's number six. Does that make sense? So, so we're actually also giving you that information just by writing the atomic symbol, right? The C. Because no other element, aside from C, has an atomic number of six. Okay, so it's kind of like saying the same thing. Well, it is saying the same, the, the same information, right? The same information. But for now, we will include it for a very specific reason. Because if I write the nuclear symbol out like this, I can actually figure out the number of neutrons incredibly quickly. So remember, if I'm gonna find out the number of neutrons, I need to subtract the number of protons from the mass number. You guys remember that definition, right? Mass number is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons. So if I want to figure out the number of neutrons, I need to subtract the number of protons from the mass number. If you realize that's what you need to do to figure out the number of protons, check this out. I already have that set up for you. See that? For this particular isotope of carbon, it's got seven neutrons. Very, very easy to get information out of not a lot of writing. And that's the goal, right? That's, that's, that's why it's such a simple notation. Now, this little subtraction problem that I just wrote in there isn't part of the notation, okay? This is your final answer, right? It's capital C 
with a super scripted 13 and a sub scripted six. 